Welcome on board the Hans Hansen. You're about to go on the trip of a lifetime. But also in these places, the weather can be challenging and you can be days away from advanced medical care. So the crew and I have put together this safety video so that you can go home happy, healthy, and share all of your tales with friends and family. Please watch so you can learn how to move about the vessel as well as tips and tricks on how to live on board. If you have any questions during your trip, please don't hesitate to ask any of the crew. In your cabin, please identify the location of your life jackets. And in your closet, you will find your survival suit. Please bring both your life jacket and survival suit up to the muster station if you hear the alarm. When in your cabin, please check the location of your life jacket and survival suit. The locations in each cabin are a little bit different. Please do not put on your life jacket inside of the vessel. Wait until you are out on deck and the crew have given you the instructions to put it on. Each life jacket may be a little bit different, so during your muster drill, please make sure you know how to put on your life jacket. Each life jacket will have a strap that goes around your waist, and most also have a crotch strap. Please make sure all are securely fastened and tightened. If we must abandon ship and time to rescue is long, the captain may request that passengers don their survival suit. The survival suit aids in thermal protection, flotation, and visibility. It is best donned from a sitting down position with legs going in first. The suit also has a whistle, a light, and buddy lines for additional protection. Please note that some survival suits require the use of a life jacket and others do not. Consult your survival suit bag and check with the crew prior to abandoning ship. On board the vessel, there are two 20-person life rafts, one on each side. If there is a man overboard, please immediately throw one of the life rings around the vessel into the water. Immediately alert one of the crew and keep your eye on the person in the water to assist in the rescue. Back in your cabin, you will also find a smoke hood. These are for escape purposes only. If you do detect a large amount of smoke, please put on your mask and go out one of the two emergency escapes towards the muster station. Back in your cabin, please review the instructions on the mask. From your cabin, there are two means of escape. All the way forward, there's a ladder that goes to the top deck. However, your primary means of exit is up the stairs that you usually go up and down. Those in upper cabins, your main means of escape is also the main transit area. However, if that's blocked, you will continue up the same forward ladder that leads in front of the bridge. Outside of your cabin, there are fire extinguishers and a fire alarm button. The stairs and ladders on board can be steep. When going to your cabin, please go sideways or backwards. When outside and going from upper to lower decks, always face inward towards the ladder when descending and when ascending. Doors on board a vessel can be particularly hazardous. Not only can they be heavy, but they can swing as the vessel moves. Please watch pinch points with your fingers and watch ledges as you go between rooms or inside and out. If the weather picks up, please move about the vessel slowly and thoughtfully, always holding on as you take each step and knowing where your next step will be, ideally with both hands free. Now that we've talked about safety, let's review some tips and tricks on how to live comfortably and easily on board the Hans Hansen. Important things first, the toilet. On the right side of the toilet, there is a button. Push it in to flush the toilet. Note that the toilets don't all flush the same way and some require a quick push and release while others might require multiple quick pushes. Only toilet paper may be thrown into the toilets. Everything else, please dispose of in the garbage can. When taking a shower, please be thoughtful in how long you take it, not only to conserve water, but also to be considerate of other passengers. When finished, please tuck the curtain back in so that it's not flying around. Remember as well that since you are sharing, please keep the bathroom as tidy as possible. But if you do need help cleaning up, just let one of the crew know. 
Finally, when you leave the bathroom, please leave the door open. This helps with ventilation and lets others know that there's no one in the bathroom. We recommend the same for your cabin door. When leaving, we recommend leaving it open or partly ajar. This helps with ventilation. At all times, remember, your door must either be latched or closed so that it doesn't bang as the vessel moves. The vessel will move, so do not leave laptops, cameras, lenses, expensive electronics hanging about. Please store them so they will be safe in any movement. In the event of rough weather, you might want to use the board located under your mattress to keep you secure and in your bed. The saloon is the main inside public area on board. It's used for meals, presentations, photo editing, and games. And please feel free to borrow from our library. However, we do ask that once you're done using your computer, books, and clothing, that you return them to your cabin so that the space can stay a clear public space. Also, we politely ask that while it may be tempting that if you do feel sleepy to return to your cabin, this means that the public space can stay public and if the cook needs to access food under the benches, he or she can do so without disturbing you. On board, we separate our food waste. Please do not put food waste in normal trash bins. Instead, please bring it to the galley or put it in the bin behind the toaster. We have an open bridge policy, so please, you are welcome to come up at any time to chat with whoever's on shift, look at the wildlife, and enjoy the view. However, if the door is closed, it means the crew is doing an important maneuver and would like that you remain out of the bridge for that short time. Otherwise, come on up.